So again, really tight here. See how it handles this. And does it fine. So I'm gonna move over for him and then, wow, we're a little close to that car, but uh, it did go past it, no problem. Uh, it gave us room. And I think the cyclist kind of freaked it out, so it hit the brakes there. That was really good. And you know, the ultrasonics are really good at those, those slow and close maneuvers. Um, so. if we get any diagonal traffic at this light this is a weird angle light okay this this is a this is a huge improvement I gave a little push there because it was taking too long but yeah it actually waited for the diagonal traffic there whereas the last couple of versions um, it it just Here we have some odd lane change behavior. It, it picked the left lane uh, and drastically swerved into it only to then decide that, yeah, I can do the right lane and change lanes again. Well, worst time to change a lane, right? When there's another car merging in from another road. Bad time to change the lane. I told me it was going to switch lanes to make this right turn. It's gonna miss it. Uh, really, dude? No. No, sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to take over. It wanted to go through Within a hundred feet of the light, as you can see, it wanted to go through two lanes of traffic to turn right. So I'm having to give it some accelerator pedal there. It wants to stop directly on the train tracks. <laughs> that's a behavior that's been pretty much the same for all the beta so far, but now with 10.2 rolled out to quite a few more people, it's a bummer that it still wants to slow down on the train tracks. Oh, oh, it's slowing down a little. I don't know why. Oh. Now it says the speed limit. <laughs> okay, you gotta go. Like, Hit the button. You just stopped in the middle of the road. Yeah, I don't know why it stopped. Which one? That one. So it kept like touching the brakes here when the cars are incoming. It kept touching the brakes a little bit. Left and, and see here, it just, see it just slammed on the brake for no reason. Ooh, okay. Whoa, okay, it's putting on the blinker to go make a right. Hey, there's it's a dog. It's gotta go right and around. It's a little hesitant here, and now it's going. And it sees another car, but no, oh, it stopped for him. Didn't like that, oh, didn't like that either. Okay, <laughs> not great in the roundabout, but it's still going around. Wow, it's going quickly, okay. 
we go. Now this is going to be a big test. This is a big street here, and we're going to be. Uh, well, there's no stop sign there. Call that it, was there a mistake. There is no stop sign. Go. Okay. <laughs> We're going to send that to the people at Tesla. So I would think, okay, here's the roundabout. I'm nervous. Let me, it's slowing down. Now enter the roundabout and take the oh. second exit. It said now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. I don't know why it's hitting the brake. What is it doing? Okay, I had to take over there. It didn't know what it was doing. Huh. Okay, let me turn it back on. Yeah, that was a, that was a big fat fail. All right, and then one more kind of tight turn here. And then we've got an upcoming intersection that is, okay. All right, I had to tap the accelerator there. It aggressively stopped in an unsafe situation if there were cars right behind me. Fortunately, there was not. All right, so this intersection, okay, I'm tapping the accelerator again. It started to stop. Now wait, now it needs to stop. Okay. So, all right. And then it's this first turn here. Uh, there's some obstacles to get through here. It's taking a wide turn. I'm gonna have to take over here. Yep, I kind of figured that would happen. So it came in with a little too much speed. See how this does here. Is it gonna go around to the left or go to the right? Looks like it's trying. Uh, it's gonna follow the arrows. Yeah. It made a decision at the end. It's trying to go around and back into the cones, which not have, would not have went too well. So it failed that test. Although I would say that's an interesting edge case that uh, Minneapolis threw at the uh, Tesla team there. Uh, and then we gotta head through this construction zone, which again, it's, it's a tricky place to navigate through. We are going really fast. Yeah, okay. So that was not good. I think we're clear. I'm gonna turn the speed down here too and just see if it can do it at 20 miles an hour. So we're going five, six miles an hour less than last time. Yeah, same behavior. We'll see if it can make it through here. So it's letting me engage here. And here we got forcibly disengaged last time just by the system so same thing this is not a good setup here it seems to be seeing the cones and willing to go around them okay good 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 nope yeah still learning all right so nope couldn't get that today sure why the blinker's on. I don't... Oh, this let I do it? Yeah. For some reason, no, we're not turning that way. So that was, I had a disengage there because I wanted to turn into the cones. Wait a second to enable it until traffic is better. Because it doesn't really wait, it just kind of goes. See, like there? There's a car. <laughs> it just is like, oh, I'm enabled now, I'm gonna go. And it would sort of turn right out into them. Still stopping way too far back. I'm over a car length back from the sign. Completely blind left here. There's a big hill in the way. Um, and it is stopping. And it was about to go right when the car was coming. All right. And it's kind of hesitantly going to the stop line. And you can feel when you're in the car, it was kind of looking. And then it tried to go. And there was a car coming from the left, as you can see here. And I had to stop and intervene. Now, the car, you know, potentially would have made it, but it definitely, technically, but it definitely wouldn't be nice to the other driver who is, you know, coming to that crossing and sees me pulling in front of him or her. 